Okay, so today we're going to do a short video on padding strings. Now there are two methods that were added recently to the string object, pad start and pad end. The purpose of these is to be able to expand a string to fill a very specific width. So if a string isn't long enough, you can pad either the start or the end of that string with whatever characters you want, be it extra spaces or zeros or a repeating string, whatever you want to do. So I've got three practical examples that I'm going to demonstrate here with these methods. Now they both take one required parameter and one optional parameter. The first required parameter is the length. How long do you want the string to be? So this is the resulting string. It's not how many characters you want to add. It's not how long the string currently is. It's what is the total length that you want the string to be at the very end of this. Then optionally you can specify what you want to be the filler character. So do I want to put spaces, zeros, or a word and then have that word repeated to fill in the space. Um, if you do not provide a filler character, it's going to be the space character. Okay, so three practical examples. Creating an ID that needs to be a specific length. So uh, let's say you've got a system where ID numbers need to be nine characters long all the time and the company is counting upwards from say 10,000. So you've got to pad the extra part in front of it with zeros to get the correct value. Tab delimited values. Now this used to be a common file format where you would have uh, a text file and every line of the text file was another record and each line had certain fields and each field was given a certain number of characters. So we're going to look at an example where we've got an ID, a username, and an email and together the three of them have to equal a certain length. And the last one, hex values. When you're generating, generating random colors, you're going to end up with hex values. Now, sometimes when you're generating a random number, you end up with something that's only one digit. You want to pad the front of that with a zero. So let's look at how to do all three of these. First one with the ID. If we have our ID, let's say it is a number, we need to turn that into a nine character string. First thing we need to do now I'm going to do this all inside the log method so it writes it out for us. First thing that we're going to need to do is take this variable and turn it into a string. So id to string. Simple enough. Now we have a string which contains this number. Now that we have a string we can call one of these methods. So I'm going to pad on the left hand side. So I'm going to call pad start. And I want it to be nine characters long and I want to use the character zero as my filler. So this will put extra zeros in front to turn this into nine characters long. All right, save that and run. And there we go. So we have the extra zeros padding the front of this. Okay, moving on to the next one, fixed length file format. I'm going to write out a combination of these three things. Now I want this number to be the first 10 characters this name to be the next 10, and then email address will get 30 characters at the very end. So my full line is going to be the ID, just like above, convert it to a string first because it is a number, and then we can say pad start. I want it to be 10 characters long this time, with zero being the extra character. Then I'm gonna add to that, I'm gonna concatenate to that, we could use the string concat method here as well, but I'm just going to use the plus sign to concatenate them. Next part is the user. That's already a string, so I can just call pad start. I'm going to use spaces to pad it, so just give it an, a length. And then the last thing is going to be that email. And again, this is a string already, so I don't have to convert it. And I want it to be 30, with spaces being the extra. Okay, so there is my full line. Run this again, and there we go. So 10 characters for this with the zeros in front, and then with spaces, we have 10 for the name, and then 30 characters is the space for this. Now our final example, random hex color. I'm gonna do 25 of them. I'm gonna loop and I'm gonna generate 25 red, 25 green, 25 blue values, and I'm gonna write out all three of them. 
I'm going to do this simply because I, I'm not guaranteed to get single digits with any of them. So 25 should be enough to at least see a couple of these. So we'll create a variable called color. And it's going to be this hex mark plus we're going to take our red value, which I've already converted to a string. So I've generated a random number here between 0 and 255. Math floor is going to round it down, so I'm going to get 0 to 255. I'm going to convert it to a hexadecimal string. The two-string method has this optional parameter that lets us specify the numeric base if you're converting a number to a string. So I want to have base 16. This will give me a two-digit or one-digit hex value. I'm going to take all of those, and each one of them, I have to pad the front of it. So red, pad start, two characters long. Now, if my hex value is already two characters long, this will do absolutely nothing. But if it's one character, that's going to give me that extra zero at the front. So we have to make sure we put that zero in there. So each of these is going to be two, and each of them we want to use zero as the filler. And blue pad start. Two characters with zero as the filler. Okay, then we write out all those. I'm going to just comment out the other ones. So all we've get all we have left is just our numbers. Clear out my terminal and run this one more time. And there we are, there's our 25. And inside of here, there we go, the 6 and the C and the 8. Those are single digits. So 0, 6, 0, C, and 0, 8. And that's it. That's how string pad, or sorry, string padding with pad start and pad end. That's how they work. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I will leave a copy of this code in a code gist and put the link inside the description and as always thanks for watching